Hello, Aquaba Magic fam. My name is Michael Cartagena, and I'm the host for the Sankofa show on Aquaba Magic. Hmm. The stories are very, very true. I mean, when you watch the trajectory of events on each of the episodes, you can tell that this is not something that is planned. No, there's times that we even have to go into the homes of people when they're not really expecting us. And I feel very uncomfortable a lot of times when we invade the privacy of people with cameras, sometimes with hidden cameras in places where they are not expecting us. And it's, it can be really um, uncomfortable, really, for us and then the crew that really have to do that, especially when the partner or the other person isn't really expecting. It's really uh, something, something really to behold. And it's not easy. But to tell you the truth, the stories and the couples are very, very real. Huh, that's quite difficult, you know, for me as a host, and I'm sure even for viewers out there, for audiences out there, I'm sure it'll be quite difficult for them to pick. I mean, for me, each season was quite unique in its presentation. Season one, we dealt a bit with um, family issues and, uh, uh, trying to patch and bring families together and then there were special or uh, very unique relationships that we tried patching up. Season two had its own feel to it and then we also descended into the cheetahs version which was the season three and so for me it would be quite difficult for me to pick. Each season was unique in its own way and I, I loved each one for the flavor it brought. My favorite couple on the show would be Derek and Portia in season one because those two seemed like they were going somewhere, they seemed heading somewhere, and they didn't really have much for us, if you ask me, to fix. And um, what made me really happy was that in the long run, eventually, they married, they got together and they married. So I loved that. Th those two were my favorite couple, if you ask me. Hmm. The funniest Sankofa story, if you ask me, was probably season two, PK, and um, his, PK the old man, if you remember, and um, his girlfriend and uh, a young lady, much, much younger than he was, um, who dumped him eventually. It was funny because he didn't want to give up, but then he also got a taste of his own medicine or probably a taste of what he really deserved after also not totally being honest about his vasectomy situation. And um, we also found out that, I mean, this lady, which, which, which would happen to any other lady in, under such circumstances? She had to move on. I mean, she had a life to live. But then what was funny was how PK fought through to the very end. He was even angry at the producers and uh, the fixers, and he stormed out. I mean, it was quite funny. I mean, an old man dating a very young woman. I mean, come on, what was he to really expect? I mean, it, it was funny. I found it really extremely funny. The most emotional song of a story would be Alamin and Muna, if you remember. I think that was in season one as well. Um, two models who were in the same space, the same business, same profession, but they hardly seemed to understand themselves or the requirements or demands of the profession, especially um, Muna, who was supposed to understand very well how the life of a model should be like. Now, they strangely decided to have an open relationship, a suggestion which came from Al Amin, and uh, long story cut short, they broke up, and attempts to patch them up did not work, and it got really sad, quite emotional, when Al Amin found out rather too late that Muna was pregnant for another man when she decided to move on. I really felt for Alamin, especially when he went to all lengths to um, get Muna back. They, I think they had something potentially beautiful going, but they messed it up on both ends. The 
the couple that didn't need much saving and prove me right, I'll go back to Derek and Portia. There was really not much work to be done. I mean, right from the beginning, I said that, look, the, the, the issues that they had or what they termed to be issues were really non-issues. And so when we were able as fixers to circumvent all those niggling issues, I mean, it was a home stretch <laughs> for them. And it wasn't surprising that the two of them married and got together and they married i mean it was if you ask me a model couple and i believe that a lot of uh, potential couples out there have a lot so much to learn from mm, three red flags mm, a lack of transparency and the openness um for from any potential partner i mean uh, you shouldn't be economical with the truth if there's somebody out there either man or woman that you are looking to date look out for transparency you shouldn't be economical with the truth you should be transparent you shouldn't hold back secrets and secondly uh, an inability to control oneself i mean anger issues when you spot it from the beginning, you need to open your eyes because it could lead to something even more serious. You don't want domestic violence. You don't want anything that could harm um, either person. So you would really need to look out for that. And also, a lack, thirdly, a lack of consistency. I mean, he or she says one thing and does the other thing. I mean, I don't think that is a really good thing. And if you ask me, there are so many th red flags, so many things that you have to look out for. But these three things stand really um, out like a sore thumb for me. Well, we are looking forward to the season finale. It's on Friday, just this Friday, just around the corner. You shouldn't miss it for anything because there's a lot of drama. There's a lot to really be excited about. And um, it's, it's, it's a, a seesaw kind of a situation from beginning to end. You don't know what is happening until you get to the very end. I don't want to spoil the party for you. I don't want to spoil the fun. I don't want to spoil the suspense for you. So I'll just leave it here that you make sure that you're a part of the season finale, um, crowning season three. Should we park at the park, parking lot or you are inside the church? Would you want me to meet you up at the entrance or something? She's a criff. And your friends are like, what are you? I think it's critical that we find out what's going on with her. What's what's going on? We've been waiting for you. Um, um, an emergency came up, so I wouldn't be able to come. Angie! Angie! No, you don't just do that. Just no, listen. no, you listen. can't just bring her money to my house. If you want to talk to me, then come to my house and just, talk to me. Why, why should you bring people with you? Just relax. Let me I explain. Like no, just relax.